If you ever make textures for your game, uh, you might be using GIMP or Photoshop, um, but personally I like to use Krita. I think it's nice, it has a good blend between art and uh, sort of filters and things like that. Uh, but there is one sort of issue, which is how you blend between different, uh, how you merge two different layers when using blend modes. Uh, in particular, when you're using a uh, gradient, for example, to blend out um, a uh, you know texture that you maybe painted on. And so in this video, I'm just gonna quickly spend a few minutes to go through how to set that up. And so if you're interested, and that seems like something that you'd like to learn, then this video is for you. So we'll go ahead and get started. And here we have a blank canvas. I'm just gonna create a new layer and then we'll fill it with black. And I'll create another new layer and then we'll just paint on some textures here. So you can see we have our textures here now. So um, uh, initially when you might wanna like, so let's say we wanna fade this out towards the top, kind of like, kind of like, uh, this, not like that, kind of like this, right? You want to fade this out from the top using some sort of gradient. Um, but obviously we want to use a gradient, but if we do that, then we have this black texture here, uh, and that's not exactly what we want either. Normally, uh, you might use a multiply mode, but in Krita, when you combine these two, let's say merge, you can see that the new layer that is merged includes that black layer. So it's not merging the way that you would normally maybe expect it to, where it takes the uh, top layer's blend mode and then applies that blend mode while doing the merge. Instead, it sort of merges it down using the normal blend mode. Um, so that's not good. The mode that I found that actually works is if you switch to an erase mode. Now you can see here that that mode is propagating down to our other paint layers as well, and we don't want that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click both of those, right click, and then click group and quick group. So now you have these two layers grouped. Uh, so that's kind of just working perfectly now. I'll just gonna jump over here and change this color so you can see that. That's not a good color. <laughs> oh my God. So, so yeah, so you can see that that's working normally and that's kind of looking good. And you can add additional layers like from the bottom left. Um, and you can use that erase mode again to kind of blend in these different gradients. So that's all good. Uh, if you want, you can take this entire group and extract it out into a new layer. So the way that you'll do that is you'll hide those other two layers, right click this, click uh, right click on the group, and then click new layer from visible. And that'll create an entirely new layer that contains the contents of what you are looking for. So if we go over here, you can see that we can brush that out, for example, or you can paint on top of it. And everything works great. So uh, that's all for the video. Uh, if you found that helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Cheers.